beautiful day in Manchester today, but I'm staying indoors. Need to sort out writing and promoting my book. Check out those clouds, so they look awesome, don't they? Mm. And the beautiful trees in front of the, the apartment. So many cranes. Manchester is in construction, but that's, I mean, I guess it's a good thing. But like, people are working, they're not just like random cranes who've been sitting there for ages. They've been doing a lot of work since we moved here. A lot of stuff has been, has been done. A lot of work. Okay, need to get back to my tea. Some lovely red bush and vanilla, vanilla tea. Such a lovely tea this one it's not too strong it's not too sweet or anything it's just perfect flavor if you drink too much of it i mean too much a few cups you won't feel bad it's, it's just nice tea mm. i wish you could smell it it has a lovely color it's hot hot <laughs> okay back to writing Oh, I've just, I've just started reading this book. I know it's a classic, classic. I should be ashamed. I haven't read it so far, but yeah, I just haven't. <laughs> I was reading it yesterday in, in a cafe, Fig and Sparrow in Manchester, and I'm only like 12, 13 pages in, but I, I loved, I loved, I loved it so far. Check out this. I love this. Um, this bit, there were other ways of ma making people into ghosts. This is what uh, Atticus, the father of the main character, says. Uh, I think it's really, a really thoughtful thing. And I can see why people are loving it so much. I'm really excited. I love the writing style. Anyway, I need to get back to to writing. And probably I'll, I'll probably be reading this today, though. So, yeah, I don't know how much writing I'm going to get done but yeah it's getting there I'm getting there with my new book <laughs> when you don't have a garden but you really want one what do you do you keep basil in a pot which is not even doesn't even have enough soil because I only use this to make a pasta with basil which is really a simple recipe with garlic and chilies and olive oil and basil basil with olive oil it's really delicious <laughs> But easy to make and yeah so until i'll have a proper garden to grow my own food this is the setup <laughs> and the painting i've done a few few years back i think in 2013 i'm quite proud of this it's just really i think it's a beautiful painting um yeah good memories it's uh, nice to see some movement on my kdp dashboard not a lot of sales but it's getting steadier the gray ones are uh, the print books the uh, orange ones are the digital the ebooks and the ones down um, are the kdp reads so if you're in kdp if you if you read it on kindle, kindle devices and you have a subscription to kindle unlimited you can read books for free kind of i mean you have a a subscription subscription monthly and you can read up to 10 books at a time every month obviously if you read more uh, than 10 you can read more than 10 books in a month but not more than 10 at once so it's i think it's a really good <laughs> a good deal for readers and for authors because we get paid for the page reads so yeah that's that's great <laughs> and the blue are the free downloads so yeah, I'm looking forward. I was calculating and my math, I came to realizing that if I sell five books a day, every day of the month, I could basically pay for just needs, like basic needs, like rent and food. So if you fancy reading some strange stories, scary reads, uh, check out my book Whispers and Other Strange Stories. 
and if you read if you fancy reading something more romantic but still scary a little bit you can check out velvet touch <laughs> of uh, recently published the new edition i've done a few changes and yeah very few changes but i think it, it improved it so yeah you can check it out that one if not as i said you can go to go and check out this it currently has eight reviews it says four because uh, it shows on each market like the uk market has four reviews currently and the, the amazon.com has as you can tell it has so this is from that com four reviews and they're all like four and five stars and these are from .co.uk for good reviews as well i'm looking forward to getting more and the book is available in print uh, and large print and like standard print and large print and as a kindle edition so yeah you can be a nice gift <laughs> um and yeah as you can tell you can read it um with kindle unlimited it says here this title and over one million more are available with kindle unlimited for zero 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 so zero pounds unless you have, but obviously you pay for a subscri subscription or you can pay 2.99 to read it to read a book outside of the subscription program so yeah it says i purchased the item because i i downloaded it to check everything was okay so yeah so yeah back to my tea but as i was saying if you wish to support with in the authors uh you can share their posts you don't even have to buy the books if you can afford them you can share them because maybe you have friends who can afford buying a copy of the book or they can share it as well if uh, it's just very simple things you can do to support people like me um and i'm i'm really looking forward to hearing from you if you've read my book um, um it, it's just always lovely to hear from people to see what they made of the stories I've, uh, I've written i've gotten i've received some really nice feedback so far really constructive and it's uh, helping me to write better i think anyway i believe so yeah i should really get back to <laughs> to my book which i think i've decided my new book i've decided on the title for it i think i'm still waiting for um an, a message from someone who lives in japan to confirm something about the name um, but yeah i think once it's done, I think I might decide on that. I mean, it won't be decided until I've finished the actual book. And, yeah, I see it as a whole. But, yeah, I think I decided on the title. Okay, take care.